Hey guys, so in this video I decided to do things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm not going to be building anything because I've already built this set. Um, so this is pretty much just a review of one of the sets that I currently own, and that would be the Lego Kuzo uh, Back to the Future set. Now this was set 21103, it had 401 pieces, and it was also the uh, 004, number 004 of the Lego Kuzo uh, line. Um, Back to the Future was uh, one of the most watched movies of my childhood. Um, it was one of those ones with the uh, where we watched it so many times that the VHS tape started to wear out. Um, and uh, for those of you who do not know what Lego Kuzo is, or well, now it's called Lego Ideas, but it's a website that you can actually make your own Lego creations at home and then submit your photos to this website and um, you get supporters and if it gets enough supporters it actually goes in front of the Lego board and then they decide whether or not to make it an actual set and that's what happened with this one so uh, and since it's already built um, I'm not gonna say this build but this is a review of one of my favorite Lego sets all right guys so here is the uh, set it is the Lego back to the future set um, the, you notice a few changes right off the bat that this isn't an, just any ordinary Lego set for one the uh, little instruction booklet isn't so much of a little booklet as it is I mean it's a really nice book um, and it's got nice kind of uh, solid pages on the back and the or covers on the back and front and uh, when you get inside of it it actually has some uh, backstory about Back to the Future and some information about the movie itself and then obviously it has the the you know instructions to build and then in the uh, you know all the different ways you can build it and I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the episode I don't think I did but this particular set is technically a three in one build which means that you can do three different you know you can have it three different ways so the first one that I've, well actually here, I guess let's just start out with the minifigures that come with it. Um, obviously, you got Dr. Emmett Brown, and he's wearing his outfit from the uh, beginning of the first Back to the Future movie. Uh, he does have a reversible face. Say that. Great Scott, run for it, Marty! <laughs> and, uh, but I generally keep him on the happier side. And then you have, obviously, Marty, Marty McFly, and uh, he also has two different faces. Whoops. He's got his happy one, and he's got his uh, afraid face. Oh, Doc! <laughs> so, yeah, but I also keep him on his happy side. And uh, he's the only one that actually comes with a little accessory. Um, he actually comes with a skateboard. Uh, if you recall, if you have seen Back to the Future, and if you haven't, I don't know what's wrong with you. But uh, Marty is an avid skateboarder, so that's uh, that's what he comes with. And now let's get to the other star of this set, the DeLorean. Um, I really, really love what they did with the uh, design of this car. Um, the overall, I only have a couple of complaints. One is the um, the door system, uh, they have, the way they have it up, you know, if you remember the DeLorean, you know, the doors flip up, which that's really cool. But it's kind of flimsy in its design. I don't know how many times I've opened and shut this door and it's come off of its hinges. And um, the main way you get the minifigure into the car, you actually have to flip these down. And then open up the door so they can get in there. And uh, let me take this opportunity to show you the inside of the car, if I can get it just right. Uh, if you look right there, you can actually see the time circuits. And then right there in the back, you see the uh, flux capacitor. I thought that was really cool that they showed those uh, two little design features. Um, my other gripe, mainly with this car, is that it can only seat one. Um, it may look like you know there's enough room for two in there, but you can only sit one in there, and actually, it's mainly just Marty. I tried to put Doc in the other day, and his hair keeps getting hit right there on the roof, and so he can't actually sit down in there without popping the top off. Um, and then I think my final gripe is uh, these hoses. You have to be really careful with how you hold this thing, because if you don't, um, it will cause those hoses to pop right off, and it's just kind of uh, an annoyance. So, oh, but yeah, on the back, out of time license plate and the way that I have this uh, 
this one set up. It's the um, DeLorean from Back to the Future, the first one. And I will show you the different modes um, to change it to make it look like it's from each of the three Back to the Future films. So for the first transformation, oh, look, see what I was saying, that hose I've been holding it and it kind of slides off. I'll make sure that all the other ones are, are on there tight. Um, so in order to change this from the Back to the Future to the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean, um, mainly what you have to do, this uh, back bumper comes off really easily, so you can uh, switch out the license plates. And in order to switch out the license plate, thankfully they included one of these LEGO tools that they generally include in the bigger sets, but all you gotta do is just pop this little license plate off, and then you can put the uh, futuristic to, you know, 2015, which, funny enough, it's, uh, you know, that would be next year, and we're not anywhere close to this kind of technology. But anyway, yeah, it just sticks right on there, and then you can pick the DeLorean up and just pop the bumper back on, just like that. And then the uh, wheels flip down to simulate the hovering. And another thing that makes that look like it's hovering is uh, instead of it sitting on its wheels, it comes with these little clear blocks that you stick towards the back and towards the front. And then uh, it just sits like that. And so, it, you know, it sits, you know, not, not too far off the ground, but just enough to make it, you know, to where the wheels don't touch. And the, uh, the final bit to turn this into the Back to the Future 2 is to add the Mr. Fusion onto the back right there. And there you go. There's the Back to the Future 2 model. And this is my favorite way, um, you know, my favorite version to have it. Uh, whoops. I just like the, uh, the futuristic looking um, license plate and having Mr. Fusion on there and also having the wheels flip down. I think that's just overall, that's the, uh, the coolest looking way to do it. And then to turn it into the uh, Back to the Future 3, obviously you uh, flip the wheels up and then you actually will take the, uh, well, obviously you take the two uh, clear blocks off because it doesn't hover in Back to the Future 3. But um, you actually have to pop the wheels off and change the rims, which I'll do that and uh, change it in just a second. And there you go. The uh, red wheels from uh, when they found the DeLorean in 1955. And uh, the final, uh, well, obviously you have to take Mr. Fusion off, but leave that yellow piece right there. And then the last bit that you have to do, uh, you have to take the tool again, and you just pop up this one single piece right there, and take that off. And then there's the uh, gearbox they had to put on it in order to make it run in 1955, and that just simply pushes right onto there. And there you go, there is the Back to the Future 3 DeLorean. And if you're a fan of this uh, film series, I definitely suggest you get this. This is generally more of the uh, adult uh, fan of Lego kind of build. Um, I mean, it says 10 plus, but um, kids, you know, generally aren't going to keep uh, the set together, all the pieces in order to change it from movie to movie. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. And uh, last I checked, it's still on Amazon for uh, $34.99. So that's a pretty decent price to have a really cool set like this and for the amount of stuff it comes with. Alright guys, so what did you think of my first episode of my favorite LEGO sets? Um, if you liked it, make sure you click that like button and you can also subscribe to my channel where I will be building a lot more of your favorite sets. And also, I plan to do more of this same uh, series. As you can tell behind me, I have other sets that I've already built. Uh, this is only about a fourth of them. I have a hole or wall and down that way that are full of Lego sets that I've already built. So, um, but if you have a suggestion about what you would like me to actually build, um, leave those in the comments below. And also if you uh, are curious as to which uh, set that I have um, already built behind me or, you know, off camera where you can't see, just um, ask about that and I'll see if I can make a video about that. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep on building.